Hello everyone and welcome. Thanks for tuning in into this video and today we are taking a look at another Windows 11 customization tool called Start11 from Stardock. So you can download this program on their website, but if you click right here, get the beta version of this program, uh, you will be uh, prompted with uh, uh, inserting um, payment and uh, general information uh, for this program. So I found out uh, an alternative for this one. So on the Softpedia, you can download the original exit file uh, of this program and uh, then you will uh, be able to try um, this program out for 30 days. So 30 day trial of this program. And another thing that I found out is uh, OpenShell, which is completely free and great alternative to this program that we are taking a look today. Um, and it's completely free and you can download it on GitHub. I think it also works very well with Windows 11 so far. So right now I just downloaded this program and installed it on my computer. Also activated the 30 day trial of this program. And uh, with uh, installing this program, you will be also prompted to insert your email to start 30 day trial. So keep in mind that this is the trial of this program right now. So let me take a step further and introduce you to this program. So use the start uh, 11 start menu. So this program will change the Windows 11 default uh, start menu to use the uh, start 11 start menu. So for example, right now, if I put here to the on setting and we have Windows 7 style and modern style. Uh, Windows 7 style, it looks like that. I think it looks uh, very, very slick. And we have also um, a lot more themes of this Windows 7 style. So for example, we have default theme, default theme with black edges, and we have also rounded Windows 7. I think this one looks very, very ugly and it doesn't work very well with Windows 11, in my opinion, with uh, the design of Windows 11. And we also have the shadow version of this uh, start menu. It looks like that. And then we have also modern style. Uh, it looks like uh, that. Uh, it looks like that. Uh, you know, guys, this program is also in beta and it's uh, glitchy a bit sometimes when changing some settings. Uh, it looks like that. And we have also another style of this uh, uh, Start 11 uh, style. It looks like that without uh, the menu icon or without the local name uh, of uh, account on the of Windows 11. So here we have also a lot more changes for that. Uh, for example, we have changed visual settings we can change a lot more settings uh, in this uh, tab right here. So all programs three should use large icons. Uh, I think this is for this one on the left. We have also used the large icons, large icons, and we have also paint solid color background behind the icon. So this is the paint which is behind right here behind the icon and is currently teal. So if I disable that, if I disable that setting, uh, it should be, I think uh, it shouldn't have the background uh, or I think it should be white. As you can see, it doesn't have a uh, background right now. We have also, we can also change uh, a few settings right here. So show icons as styles split into columns. So for example, I have set it for example for five columns right here uh, and it looks like that. It has uh, even bigger appearance on the Windows 11. As you can see, it looks a bit big in my opinion. So if I disable the settings, it should go back to normal. Make menu font bigger or smaller. So here we can change uh, some uh, fonts and we also have adjust menu transparency. We can make the menu, uh, let's say 70% solid and it has a bit uh, transparent effect on the uh, uh, Windows 11 itself. We have also some uh, another um, appearance uh, changes so we have apply a custom color or texture to the menu so uh, this setting we can uh, enable use automatic color for the start menu we can even use a custom texture so for example if i enable this setting we have the abstract one let's say i will go with metal one and i will also use um, uh, the texture applied to the background of tiles i will also enable this one and i will just let's say jeans i think this one looks uh, um, quite. Uh, so this is the style we are currently going for and it looks uh, very very I I don't like it but I prefer the stock Windows 11 uh, start menu. It looks uh, a bit uh, weird right now with these textures on, on the on. So if we go right now to the 
uh, what is actu actually seen on the on the menu. So we have here show recently used applications. We can disable that. So the recently used application, we can disable that. Show desktop and startup fences folders in the old program list. We can disable that as well. We have also option to allocate room for at least 10, 10 icons. So we have, I think that we have the room. For example, right here we have uh, for uh, 10 icons and we can uh, change uh, another room for that. So change right and hand uh, right hand sh shortcuts. Uh, you have all these shortcuts to be changed. And of course we have the power button shrug. Also we have the, the default setting to change uh, the, the power state of the computer. So also we have the taskbar uh, settings. For example, we have the blur, blur, blur the wallpaper under the taskbar. We can disable that and it looks transparent right now. If I enable that, it looks normal right now. But use, we also have use automatic color for the taskbar. If I enable or disable that, it looks like black. And if I enable that, it looks uh, normal again. We have also adjust taskbar transparency. So we have, for example, right here, we have 10, let's say a 10. It looks very, very, um, um, uh, let's say blended in with the wallpaper itself. I think it looks uh, quite nice And we have also apply custom texture to the taskbar. So the same settings uh, As we see on the start uh, on the start menu, we can also enable this texture on the taskbar So uh, this program uh, not only changes the start menu, but only uh, but also changes the taskbar uh, look So we have also here uh, advanced taskbar options we have positioned the start button in the center of the taskbar. We can disable that and the icon should go to the left uh, as seen on the Windows 7, for example, or the 10. Uh, and it looks like that right now. Uh, and we ho also sh uh, have the option uh, to show Windows plus X menu when right clicking the on the st uh, start button. So um, we, if I click on the right click, it shows this. But uh, if I disable this, it only shows this. So shut down open file explorer, run and configure start 11. So I will enable this for um, uh, for for uh, the Windows X and this menu. So show a search on taskbar. We can also disable this icon, which is also we which we can also disable uh, in the Windows 11 settings itself. And we also have search settings. So use search start 11 search in the start 11 start menu. So this is the search that we are using into right here. So for example, if I search for the terminal, we have the Windows 11 terminal, but we also um, can uh, change a few settings right here. So how should search work? We have show search results filtering icons. We can enable the web. We can show search the internet button and we can also search for shortcuts on the desktop and in fences. So right now, if I go to the, to the search, and let's type in a terminal again. We have the web icon right here and we can uh, also search the internet for the, that term that we typed in right here. For example, this one, uh, this time terminal. We have also the control settings right here. Uh, so all clicking the start button open start 11 menu. We have, uh, so we can, uh, let's say left click on the uh, start menu or the, this icon, it opens up this, um, this uh, start 11 menu we can also enable this setting to open the default one so for example uh, here is the back the default one and i will put it back to the start 11 menu so pressing the windows case uh, windows keys are the same as the before uh, as the previous settings of the clicking the start buttons so i think uh, we can also uh, disable this setting right here windows menu shortcut for example, pin Windows menu shortcut on the start 11 menu. So what this does is um, to change this setting right here on the top. So if I disable that, you won't be able to see this icon anymore. So I think this uh, looks very, very nice in my opinion. So about, so this has been it for this video. I think start 11 is a great, great uh, um, Windows 11 customization tool to uh, transform your Windows um, start menu to the brand new look of the Start 11 from the Start Dock. But as I said before, you can try also on a free alternative open shell on GitHub. So uh, maybe consider subscribing to this channel, like this video and comment down below if you tried uh, Start 11 or open shell uh, on GitHub. So with that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.